Je, wajua kwamba miswaki ya mianzi al maarufu bamboo toothbrushes ni mojawapo ya miswaki iliyotumika tangu zamani? Miswaki ya kwanza ilitengenezwa katika nchi ya Uchina kwa kutumia mti wa bambu. Tangu kupigwa marufuku kwa matumizi ya plastiki nchini Kenya, wa Kenya wanaendelea kuzoea hali ilivyo kwa kutumia njia mbadala ili kuimarisha usafi wa mazingira. Uh, we're looking forward to growing big. Uh, we're looking forward to being a good example to the little ones, uh, guiding them to grow in an eco-friendly environment and uh, really looking forward to getting rid of the plastic and the pollution in the ocean. Kulingana na wataalamu wa mazingira, plastiki uchukua zaidi ya miaka 100 kuoza, jambo ambalo ni tishio kubwa katika usafi wa mazingira. Kabla ya uzinduzi wa miswaki na dawa ya kusugua meno, watu wengi walikuwa wakitumia viraka, chumvi na chaki katika kusafisha meno yao. Kutokana na teknolojia ya hali ya juu katika ulimwengu wa sasa kuna njia nyingi mbadala za kutumia katika kudumisha usafi wa meno. Miswaki ya bambu huoza haraka bila kuathiri mazingira kwa namna yoyote. Ndipo sasa inaendelea kuwa maarufu miongoni mwa watu wengi duniani. We want to change the narrative of uh, plastic uh, oral products usage that uh, has caused uh, a big uh, uh, pollution problem to us mm -hmm. and our environment and thus uh, we wanted to have an impact and uh, create a solution that uh, will counter this problem of plastic pollution and uh, that's how we created our we came up with our products which are 100% uh, natural and organic mm -hmm. and biodegradable Atif Khalid ni mkurugenzi mtendaji katika kampuni ya Eco Smiles ambao lengo kuu ni kutoa suluhu la kudumu katika uhifadhi wa mazingira kupitia miswaki maalumu yenye mipini ya mti wa bambu. We were on a trip uh, to Thailand with my wife mm -hmm. and uh, we were passing through this market and they had this kind of product mm -hmm. bamboo toothbrushes, bamboo cutlery yeah mm -hmm. and uh, we thought that uh, this is something that we could introduce back home that will also have benefits to us mm -hmm. as uh, the community which is mainly about uh, plastic pollution. J. Wazo la kutengeneza miswaki ya bambu lilitoka wapi? Another thing uh, bamboo we found it to be uh, very beautiful in uh, the way it grows it's one of the fastest growing uh, plants. Mm -hmm. And that's why we also considered it to be sustainable because we will never run out of bamboo. Actually, bamboo in Asia is a big menace. Okay. So that's why they are coming up with solutions uh, to get rid of plastic and uh, use bamboo instead. Uh, we opted for bamboo because uh, it is biodegradable, uh, it's natural, uh, it, it's a fast growing plant, as my husband earlier advised. Yeah. Uh, it's vegan friendly, it's eco friendly compared to the plastic toothbrush. Yeah. yeah. Kutokana na msukumo wa watu kutotumia bidhaa za plastiki, miswaki ya bambu inaendelea kupata umaarufu zaidi ikilinganishwa na ile ya plastiki. Bidhaa za plastiki hazivunjiki kwa haraka huku nyingine zikichukua muda mrefu kuoza na kusababisha uharibifu mkubwa wa mazingira. Actually we want to number 1 we want to create awareness. It's about time everyone as a community we come together and realize that there is this problem of plastic yeah. and it's not only about awareness we also want up, we also want to come up with an alternative that will be the solution to the plastic waste okay. that's why instead of plastic toothbrushes we have introduced uh, bamboo toothbrushes mm -hmm. instead of uh, uh, plastic toothpaste tubes that we've introduced the uh, uh, toothpaste tablets mm -hmm. And for also for the people who want uh, their teeth to be a bit, a, a bit or a, a shade lighter than they are, we've introduced also charcoal uh, whitening powder, oh, yeah. which is also 100% natural. Karne ya sasa, baadhi ya watu utumia makaa ya liyo amilishwa ili kuondoa madoadoa katika meno yao. Inaaminika kuwa makaa yaliyoamilishwa yanaweza kuondoa madoadoa hayo na kungarisha meno yakawa meupe kama theluji. Uh, it is true what the dentists say that the professionals and uh, uh, misuse of the charcoal uh, powder will uh, actually cause uh, erosion on your enamel. Yeah. 
So we recommend if if it comes to a point that you need to use the charcoal activated teeth whitening powder, kindly just use it uh, once a week or mm -hmm. twice maximum, and you shouldn't leave it for too long on your teeth. Okay. So for for the charcoal powder, you're supposed to use it before you brush your teeth. Okay. Yeah. So a charcoal has the properties to absorb toxins and uh, food particles and all that. Mm -hmm. That's where it comes in as our product. Mm -hmm. But after that, immediately rinse and brush with your normal uh, toothpaste or, or rather our own products, the toothpaste tablet. Miswaki ya bambu haina tofauti kubwa na ile ya plastiki katika usafishaji wa meno. Unapotagua mswaki wa aina yoyote unapaswa kuzingatia ukubwa au udogo wa kichwa chake, umbo la mpini na mengineyo. Uh, number one, our toothbrush handle is made out of 100% natural bamboo, uh -huh. uh, which is biodegradable, which after use and uh, after three months recommended change, you can uh, throw it to the compost uh, waste and it will decompose naturally. Another thing is uh, our bristles are not as hard as the plastic ones. Mm -hmm. They are made out of a, a, a material called DuPont, mm -hmm. which is also friendly to your teeth and your gums. It doesn't uh, uh, hurt, hurt them okay. when you're brushing and does not also make it too hard on the enamel of your teeth. Viungo vinavyotumika katika kutengeneza bidhaa hizi ni vya kipekee. The packaging the packaging of our toothpaste tablets comes in also in glass jars okay. that are also recyclable. Mm -hmm. uh, in that, uh, we try to reduce the plastic tube waste also. Okay. Okay. Another thing, uh, our tablets are all uh, organic and contain natural ingredients. Mm -hmm. So we don't have uh, preservatives, we don't have artificial coloring and all that. So the Random Shop, we like everything random, we like variety, and we like to support people who support the environment. Yeah and we want to make people more aware of uh, more sustainable and recycling products. Uh, products are more eco-friendly and um, that are reusable. Watu wengi hawajazoea kutumia dawa ya meno iliyotengenezwa kwa njia ya vidonge. Atif Khalid anatueleza njia ya kutumia vidonge hivi katika kusafisha meno. Actually, we have uh, directions on the on the glass jar. Okay. It says, chew, brush, smile. It is as simple as that. Okay. You just take a tablet, put it in your mouth, just chew it, it will form. Then you just brush as normally as you would and just rinse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kampuni ya Eco Smiles imezindua miradi mbalimbali mbali, ikuemo vidonge vya dawa ya kusugua menu, miswaki ya bambu na vijiti vya kusafisha maskio. At the moment, uh, we, we are manufacturing in Asia. We have a partner there. Okay. But uh, in future, we want to bring everything back to Kenya and do everything here. Okay. The problem is uh, for the bamboo, mm -hmm. for example, mm -hmm. there's a certain type of bamboo that is used, mm -hmm. which is not found here. Okay. Yeah? It is called uh, the Moso bamboo mm -hmm. that has those properties. It is, it is more stronger. It lasts longer. Mm -hmm. It has uh, antibacterial properties. That's why we tend to use that. Uh, until then, uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll still be ordering from Asia, but hopefully in future we'll bring the production back to Kenya. Atif na mkewe wanakumbwa na changamoto si haba katika juhudi zao za kuifadhi mazingira. It's been challenging. Any business, any, any business that is about to start from the idea to the execution, uh, you should... Uh, you know, have that positive mentality, work hard to your, towards your goal. Mm -hmm. And another thing, you should be very passionate because uh, if you're not passionate, you won't be able to wake up in the morning after a challenge or two the previous day. Yeah. So if, if you're passionate about starting a business, I would recommend uh, you go for it. This was just an idea. It was just uh, from a trip uh, yeah. uh, in Asia. Yeah. And for it to come to a reality takes a lot of sacrifice and challenges obviously will be on the way, mm -hmm. but it's how you overcome them. Nikiripotia ripoti Horizon. Jinalangu ni Beatrice Kageha.